In addition to the steering, Lexus nailed the booming V8 sound. Powered by the same 5.0-liter V8 that's in the GSF and the RCF, the LC500s is up a few horsepower, to 471. With the help of a tube running between the intake manifold and the firewall plus flaps in the exhaust, but no electronically produced noise, the cabin is positively filled with nylon perfect V8 frequencies. The sound swells appropriately with engine speed but isn't overbearingly loud. The march toward turbocharging has made achieving memorable sound more difficult, which makes the LC500's naturally aspirated roar even more of a standout. Playing this V8 Opus is a rapid-fire new i 10 speed automatic. It's not as quick shifting as a dual-clutch gearbox, and we also experienced a few low-speed shift bobbles, but gear swaps are about as swift as they come for conventional automatics, and upshifts are punctuated with a satisfying pop from the exhaust. Paddle-requested downshifts, too, are exceptionally swift. Unfortunately, sound is where the hybrid loses the plot line. Unlike the V8, it does employ electronic enhancement, and its artificial moaning is further amplified in Sport S Plus mode. It's also down 117 horsepower compared with the V8. Does anyone looking to spend roughly $100,000 on a two-door fashion statement care about the LC500H's potential 50% fuel economy benefit if it means sacrificing the V8's sound and performance? Lexus claims that the transmission arrangement makes the hybrid only a few tenths of a second slower to 60 miles per hour, but at higher speeds, the performance gap felt considerably wider. Plus, the hybrid's pseudo 10 speed slurs its shifts, which aren't nearly as satisfying as those of the V8S automatic. And EV only range, as is typical for Toyota and Lexus hybrids, is still minuscule with the slightest prod of the throttle often causing the engine to fire up.